Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Retro and welcome to my weekly finds. Um, on the first glance this looks like an ordinary PS2, but if you look, at, take a close look you see a sticker on the top right. Uh, the letters are too small, can't get the camera to focus on that, but it says that this is a limited edition model with a special paint coating and if you scratch any or break any of the parts they get replaced with normal black PS2 parts, so be extra careful with this. So what is this? This is the Auto Mobile Collection PlayStation 2 and then the Snow White version. There's a sticker over there, you can see that. Snow White. Um, as far as I know, only 600 of these got released in Europe and there's uh, either three or six color variants out there, but there's a topic on the PlayStationCollecting.com forum about that. If you want to know more about these, check that out. So this one is still 100% complete in the box. comes with two white controllers and of course the white PlayStation 2. I'm going to give you a look inside to see how it looks. Still needs a little a bit of cleaning because I only just got it in, but this is how it looks. It's a fine paint co co coating, uh, automobile collection, this automotive paint or something like that. Not 100% sure, but these are really rare and these are really nice, they look great. And I'm not sure yet if I'm going to just keep it for display or take it in use, but because everything is black that I have, but um, yeah, we'll see about that later. So first some stuff I'm keeping for my collection. I bought some manuals on a Dutch auction site, and uh, it's Hagane and um, Sunset Riders, two rare games. I uh, don't have the games yet, but in case I find a box copy, I can now complete those. The Chaos Engine for the Mega Drive. It's by the Bitmap Brothers, uh, the same guys who made Z, and it uh, looks to be quite a cool game. Nano Stray on the DS, cool shoot 'em up game, and Virtual Bart for the Sega Mega Drive as well. Quite a uncommon or even rare game. It's missing the manual, so I'm still looking for that. Then a game I'm not keeping, it's for a friend of mine, I ordered it for a friend, but I just wanted to show you. It's a really rare SNES cartridge, Whirlow. It's considered at least top five of the rare Paul SNES games. I'm uh, going to give it a spin to see what kind of game it is and then send it on to him. A Saturn game for my collection, Galactic Attack. It's a cool shoot 'em up, at least it looks to be a cool shoot 'em up. I love shoot 'em ups, so uh, this one I'm keeping. Then a really big box. And this is the Conan, Age of Conan, the MMORPG. Uh, limited edition. It has a sticker here. Let's get a zoom on that. Come on. No, we're not getting a focus on that. It's uh, number 363 out of 500, so only 500 of these are made. Uh, it's for the MMORPG. The MMO wasn't really a big success. I think it's not even online anymore. Uh, when you look inside, there's a opening page, an art book, a map, cloth map, the game, and uh, some bunch of freebies like uh, free playtime, etc. It's a nice addition to my PC collection. Then Super Nintendo Harvest Moon. Again, the German version, but this one is complete and in mint condition, so uh, that's a little upgrade for mine, but I'm still looking for the UK V version. A game Boy Player for the um, GameCube comes with the box, I already had one to play Game, uh, Game Boy Advance games but now I have one complete. Roll Cage Stage 2 for the PlayStation 1, we're still looking for that, not too hard to find but just never found it. Then two really cool mask items, haven't bought mask in a while but I'm really happy with this. This is Afterburner and uh, it's definitely one of the uncommon cars and uh, it's in it's an absolute su superb condition. comes with this, the, how do you call it, the tray so this is actually totally filled up. The problem is with these toys, if you don't have the tray, it's just a car in a way too big box. So that goes rummaging all around. And then one more mask item, Rhino, which is one of the uh, main protagonists of the series. Also comes with the Styro, and again this Styro makes the box filled up totally. And uh, finding this Styro in good condition alone is, is very hard. So I'm really happy with finding the box, Styro and toy in great condition. So I can sell my uh, lesser uh, conditioned one. Another SNES game. 
Secret of Evermore, and this is the German only big box version. It comes with a guide like all the other big box games. As you can see over here, big book. And um, yeah, it's one step to closer to completing my uh, big box collection. But uh, if, you if you're interested, there's the Zelda big box, the Zelda Gold Edition, is now on eBay and it's already near a thousand euros. And I still need that, but uh, I don't expect to be getting that anytime in the next 40 years. Last two items I'm keeping. This one is the Jack 2 press kit. You can see the eyes switching. Um, what's in there, I actually don't remember. I had it open though. Comes out kind of hard, so taking some time. There we go. Sorry, this is taking so long, but the box is a bitch to open. So finally, it's opened. Um, there's a little light under here, which you can turn on, and then it just blinks. So I have no clue why they did that. This is one of those uh, 3D cards that um, with the lenticular covers. Uh, some information on the game Jack 2 Renegade game disc and below that is the press disc and there you have the light I don't see why they did this um, yeah I don't get it but it's a nice kit it's not as yeah I don't really like it it's it's too big for too little content in my opinion but um, I didn't have it so glad to have it finally the Jack 1 the Jack and Dexter press kit is a really cool one it's a wooden uh, it's a wooden box I don't have that yet but uh, there are videos on that on YouTube and then another press kit, Jack featuring uh, Ratchet. This is actually for release of Ratchet Gladiator and Jack X. So that's the racing game and the fighting game, I believe. And when you pull these sides, it opens and it shows some information. There's a disc over here. And there's a disc over here. So that's two press kit for two games in one. So that was the stuff I'm keeping. Now off to the stuff I will be selling. A really, really, really mint condition Zelda Link to the Past. This one is in superb condition, but it's a German version. And um, in Holland, German versions are worthless, so I'm gonna sell this in Germany. Kirby's Adventure for the NES, not too great condition. Some really strange pirate cartridge for the NES. It's called Video, Video Deon. I'm not sure what it has on it yet, I haven't tried it, but never saw that before, so that's why I bought it. Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater Promo Edition. Another big box SNES game, Terra Enigma, came in the same bunch as the other German games. Uh, I already had this, didn't think I had, but when I f got it in I was surprised to see I already had a copy. Uh, it's in great condition, also with the guide, etc. This one will be up for sale. And another German game. Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island again in superb condition but again German and it also came with the guide which is unfortunately also in German then two Sega Saturn games Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 and The Crow and this one is in a DVD case so it's not the original front but it is original manual and disc and the last item for this part is still in its original shipping box and when we open the shipping box, we find a uh, War of the Monsters PlayStation 2 press kit. If you want to see how this press kit looks on the inside, check out my video on all the press kits from a while back. Because I already have a copy of this, so this one will be up for sale. It's in great new condition and uh, it's, it's a really cool press kit. It's not something really special, but it looks great. And if you're a fan of this, uh, these kind of games, there's a really, really big poster of, uh, of the game inside. So now for the last item of this week, we go outside because it's too big to take inside. Well, hold up, we're not going outside yet because I have one more game, I forgot to show you. Uh, it's an addition to my NES collection and it's quite a rare game and it looks to be quite a good game as well. I love the front, just check out how amazing the artwork is on this one. Zen the Intergalactic Ninja. Uh, it's a Konami game, only was released in Germany and in Scandinavia I believe. Uh, this is the German version. And um, it's a really cool addition to my S NES collection, not SNES, NES. Um, yeah, finding this one is hard. This is only the second copy I've seen in the last six, seven years. So when I saw it pop up, I immediately hit the buy it now button. Really happy with this. So now we go outside. 
The last part of this week's video has to be filmed outside because this is too big to put inside at the moment. Uh, it's an official PSP PlayStation Portable display cabinet. has a PlayStation logo there on the bottom. comes with five of these shelves and uh, has some nice detail here. The games thing, you can remove it. So I think it also exists in accessories or uh, consoles, not sure. Uh, this is a light, you saw the power cable, and it's dual sided. So on the other side it's exactly the same. Um, this is going to be for my future game room and uh, the double sidedness really helps because I can put it in the center. It's not too wide so you can still walk around it and uh, it can hold about, uh, I think about 100 games. So I'm really happy to have this and it's a nice addition to my collection as usual. So thanks for watching my video. Um, check out the forums on playstationcollecting.com and uh, check out my other videos. See you next time. Bye bye.